Hi everyone. Our next question is, the diagram shows a uniform meter rule. The rule is pivoted at its midpoint. A weight of 4 Newton is suspended from the rule at 5 cm mark. The rule is held by a string at 30 cm mark. The rule is in equilibrium. What is the upward force that the string exerts on the rule? In equilibrium condition, the clockwise moments will be equal to anti-clockwise moments. That is, this can be considered as the clockwise moment in this direction. So, the clockwise moment can be written as moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance from the pivot. So here, clockwise moments will be equal to force force that is 4 Newton into the perpendicular distance from the pivot. That means this distance. from 5 to 50, that is 45 centimeter. This will be equal to anti-clockwise moments, that is string. We need to find the upward force that the string exerts on the rule. So, I will write it as S. And the distance, perpendicular distance from the string to pivot. That is 50 minus 30, 20 into 20. So, S will be equal to 4 Newton into 45 centimeter divided by 20 centimeter. Centimeter will get cancelled. So, while dividing, we will be getting the answer as 4.5 into 2 Newton. That is 9 Newton. So, the answer is B, 9 Newton. We will move to next question. An irregularly shaped metal plate is freely suspended from a point P and is in equilibrium as shown. Point Q is vertically below P. Which statement about the position of center of gravity of the metal plate is correct? The center of mass of an regularly shaped body that has the same density throughout is it at center. If it is regularly shaped, the center of gravity will be at center. But we can see here, this metal plate, it is irregularly shaped. It is already specified, it is irregularly shaped. So it is not at the center, not at P, not at Q. We need to find it by further investigation. So the answer is D. Next. Which row about the change of energy 
in the energy store must be correct. So here they are telling about potential energy and kinetic energy. So potential energy is actually mgh. When something is on height, the potential energy increases. Something is on rest or something is on high, potential energy increases. So when the water is pumped up to a high altitude time, gravitational potential energy of the water increases. A is the right answer. 